Welcome to Mishnah Stari Masachat Shabbat Perek Dalad Mishnah Bet. Over here in our Mishnah, we're going to discuss insulating a pot on Shabbat, right? So continuing, right? Last Mishnah, we spoke about insulating a pot before Shabbat. Over here, we're going to see more on Shabbat, how you can uh, take a pot out of its place, you know, and then when you want to put it back, uh, how do you do so? So... Firstly, again, I'm going to point out how Bob is going to be a little different over here also. Um, not as critical, but it's interesting how he's been fadesh over here. So, tomnim shelachim umitaltelin otam. You can be tomen, you can insulate with shelachin, right? Shelachin, we know from tergum, unkilus, right? When it says, if shit it ta'ola, right? When you, when you skin the ola korban, it says, vay shelach yad alta, right? So, the shelachin is the skinning. When you skin, so it's the hide. And if you want to go ahead... I mean, to insulate with these uh, with these hides, you're allowed to go do so. You're allowed to carry them also. They're not mukte, right? Because you're using them for uh, you know for, for for this for this purpose. Right? Also, um, right? You could go ahead and use the, these uh, uh, wool, right? All these you know wool that you uh, you know sheared off these shearings of wool, but you're not allowed to carry them. Now, in meaning they're mukte. Now, when are they mukte? When you just want to hey, use it over here, oh, let me use this for uh, insulating the pot. But if you set them aside, right? If you, you, you if you set them aside, hadan, right? For for hatmana uh, for insulating, then you're allowed to go ahead and do so. You know, even the uh, even the shearings of wool. Kids said the So what do you do? Now here's what Rambam is mifarish interesting. Notel the kesut vehenoflot. First of all, he says the kesut na kisui. Right? You take the uh, the uh, the kesut, the uh, actual uh, cloth. That you were covering, right? So let's say if you took the pot, you put it in a you know a, you know a box with you know lots of gizet uh, semer with lots of you know wool, and on top of the pot you put a piece of cloth and then more wool on top. So what could you do? You could take off this piece of cloth, and when you take off the cloth, that those shearings of wool will come off of the pot as well with it, right? That's okay. Why? Because you're not actually touching the gizet semer. You're not touching the shearings of wool, which would be mukte. And being that you're moving it. Tul min hatsad, right? You're moving this mukse just, you know, on the side, right? By the side, you're not actually touching the mukse. That would be okay, right? That's according to everyone. Now, the Bila Azab bin Azad Yaomer, kupa mata al tzida vinotel, right? The kupa itself, if you have a box, right? And you want to take out this uh, pot. Imagine you have a box, you have a pot inside of that box. So you take the box, you tilt it a little, and then you take it out. So let's say if you were, um, you were tomen, you were insulating with, um, you know, straw, you went ahead, you tilt a little so you can wiggle it out without all the straw collapsing inside, and then you can never put the pot back in. Because once it collapses, you can't put it back in. So to be the Azab and Azania says, okay, you need to tilt it on the side so you can take it out. Because you may take the pot out of that box with the insulation, and then you can't put it back in anymore. Some of you say, no, take it out regular and put it back. You don't have to tilt the box. Um, over here, it's interesting. The way Haram Bam explains it is that everyone agrees that you could take it out and put it back if nothing moved. Right. Once something moves, everyone agrees that you're not allowed to put the pot back. Just that Bil Azab bin Azariah says you need to go ahead and try to prevent it from moving because we don't want the uh, you know that straw to fall down and then you don't want to put it back and you're not allowed to put it back. And Hamim say no, we don't worry about it. If it happens, it happens. But if it does happen, also Hamim agree that you can't go ahead and put the pot back in that insulated um, you know box with straw. If you didn't cover it from before the day, right before Shabbat rolled in, then you can't cover it. Right, like we said before, right? Because in Allah, to be you can't insulate on Shabbat, as we mentioned in last Mishnah. If you covered it and it, you know, it, uh, you know, I don't know, wind blew it, something happened, and it got, it got un, un, uh, uncovered, then you're allowed to recover it. A person's allowed to fill water. Right? If a person like to go and fill, fill a jug with water and put it underneath his pillow or underneath, um, you know, kesat, also another type of, um, another type of, uh, you know, pillows. And uh, this is allowed, as we said before, you're allowed to be tomen, you're allowed to put water, you know, on Shabbat. Like we said before, like colder water, you put it under and, uh, you know, just put it under these, under these pillows. That's okay, because that's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Halakha is like hachamim, that you're allowed, like, not like you'd be hachamim, halakha is like hachamim, that you're allowed to go ahead and take out the pot without having to tilt the, uh, tilt the box, uh, like we mentioned. But if it does fall, then you're not allowed to put it back in.